All right, I think now would be as good a time as any here to try these two on your own. I've got 3 times x, 3x minus 20 equals negative 2x over here. My other problem is 8 minus negative 8x equals 6 plus 4 minus 2x. And again, keep in mind that your goal is always to get the variable by itself on a side. That's goal number one. Uh, and then always think about uh, if you do something to one side, you've got to do the same thing to the other side. Try these two out. Ask any questions you have, uh, and this will give you a pretty good indication on how you're doing with this here. So go ahead and try them out. All right, let's take a look. First one here, nothing that we can combine together because I have an X and a regular number, and then my other X is on the other side. The thing that would make the most sense here is to get all my X's over here because I don't have anything else to get rid of on this side. Um, if I can get this rid of this, 3X, and get it over there, then I've got a pretty standard problem. So I'm going to start with uh, taking away 3X, which will cancel that out. And then I'm going to take away 3X on this side, which is going to give me negative 5X. I've still got my minus 20 over here. Okay. Now it just becomes a pretty standard problem that you know how to do. Uh, if you just know by looking at it, that's going to be 4. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. If you don't know that, uh, remember you can just do the opposite on both sides. Canceling out would be to divide by negative 5. And then on the opposite side, we're going to divide by negative 5. Uh, 20 divided by negative 5 is, of course, 4. So for this one, I've got x equals 4. And don't forget, you can always go back and check to see if it makes sense in the original problem. If I put 4 up here, four times th 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 12 minus 20 is negative 8. Over here, negative 2 times 4 is also negative 8. So if they both equal the same thing, you know you got to write down here. So that one works out. On this side, there are some things that we can combine together here. Uh, not on this side so much because we've got minus 8 and then minus 8x. Those can't go together. But over here, I can put my 6 and my 4 together to make 10. So I can go 10 there, minus 2x equals minus 8x, and that's just minus 8 right there. Now the game begins as far as which side do I want to put my x on, and again, it really does not matter. Um, so you could have done this a couple of different ways. In fact, you should have combined them together the same way anyway, so I'm going to put the combined problem down here, and I'm going to show you both ways you could have done this, just in case you didn't do it the way I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to start by getting all the x's to that side. So we're going to keep that one there, we're going to get rid of this one over here. So that's going to be a plus 8x, plus 8x is going to be 6x, okay? So then I still have my, um, that's positive 6x, so then I have 10 plus 6x, because that's positive, equals, and I still have my minus 8 on this side. Okay. Um, so now my thing is I need to get this positive 10, out of here because I want to get this by itself. So that means that this positive 10, I need to do the opposite, which would be minus 10. If I'm minus 10, that cancels out. I need a minus 10 over here to get negative 18 equals still have 6x over there. Okay. Now this is a pretty easy problem here. Uh, 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, so my answer is negative 3. If you don't know that, I can just divide both sides by 6. If I divide this side by 6, that will cancel out. If I divide this by side by 6, negative 18 divided by 6 is, of course, negative 3. Now, if you got the x's on the other side for this one, we could do that. We can take this negative 2x and get it to the other side by adding 2x. Okay, Cancel out, add 2x to this side. Negative 8x plus 2x is going to be negative 6x. And I still have my minus 8 over here equals 10. 
Okay. Now I need to get this negative 8 to the other side to get x by itself over here. So that's just going to be an opposite of plus 8. We're going to plus 8 over here, which is going to be 18. So now I have negative 6x equals 18. And again, same thing. This is going to be um, negative 3 because negative 6 times negative 3 and negative times a negative would be our positive 18. If you don't know that, divide by negative 6 on this side to cancel. Divide by negative 6 on this side. 18 divided by negative 6 uh, would be negative 3. Again, if you went through this and you still have questions, make sure that you let me know so we can figure things out.